Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Let's discuss the next topic that is types of IR peaks. Already we know that different kinds of the transitions are takes place between the vibrational levels. So during the transitions, what happens? The absorption of energy takes place or not? The absorbed energy is going to give the corresponding peak or the signal. So what are, what are the types of peaks or the bands which are present in the IR? Okay, the first type is what? Fundamental peaks. We all know that the quantum approach deals with the generation of energy levels in a molecule. So according to quantum approach, what happens? We are going to observe vibrational levels in the molecule, right? So initially what happens? All the particles are present at the ground state of the vibrational level that is commonly represented as V0. The majority of transitions from the V0 to V1. It means what? Shifting of the particle from the V0 to V1 by the absorption of IR radiation. That is commonly called as a fundamental transition. What is the name? The transition of the particle from the ground state vibrational level to the first vibrational level is commonly called as fundamental transition. The peaks which are arising due to the fundamental transitions are commonly called as fundamental peaks or fundamental bands. Simply fundamental peaks means the peaks which are arising from the V0 to V1 transition. Okay, then next one is the what? Vauber tone peaks. If you see this particular situation, what is happening? These are the vibrational levels, right? This is the ground state vibrational level. The particle is shifting from the what? V0 to V1, V0 to V2 or not? By removing the transition V0 to V1. Except the V0 to V1 transitions, remaining all higher energy level transitions are commonly called as Vauber tone transitions. The peaks which are arising from the Vauber tone transitions are commonly called as Vauber tone peaks. Fundamental transition means what? V0 to V1. Simply remove this transition and identify the remaining transitions. V0 to V1, V0 to V2. V0 to V0 to V2, V0 to V3, V0 to V4, etc. etc. See this one. The transitions from the ground state vibrational level to the upper vibrational levels, commonly called as V2, V3, O4, are called as Vauber tone transitions. The peaks which are resulting from the Vauber tone transitions are commonly called as Vauber tone peaks. Okay. Simply V0 to V1 means fundamental. V0 to V2, V0 to V3, V0 to V4, etc. etc. called as Vauber tone peaks. So the first one is what? V0 to V2, commonly called as first Vauber tone transition. The second one, V0 to V3 is called as second Vauber tone transition. V0 to V4 is called as third Vauber tone transition. The peaks which are resulting from these transitions are commonly called as Vauber tone peaks. Okay. The next type of transitions or peaks are what? Combined oblique different peaks. Here we have a molecule. In the first case, what we are observing? Stretching vibration. The stretching vibration is resulting one frequency. In the second case, what we are observing? Bending vibration. The bending vibration resulting another frequency. It means that what in IR spectra of this particular molecule, we are observing one peak related to the stretching vibration, another peak related to the bending vibration. See this one, this peak related to stretching vibration and this peak related to the bending vibration. If the additional peak is appeared by the combination of these two peaks, 1500 plus 900, how much? 2400 or not? These type of peaks are commonly called as combined peaks. Suppose 1500 minus 900 means what? 600 or not? 
the subtraction of the value of these two frequencies giving a another peak or not those peaks are called as a difference peak or different peak so in this way we will observe some additional peaks in the ir spectra what are those combined peaks or different peaks okay then come to the next one and very 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 important one concept is commonly called as fermi resonance it's very very important but very simple see this one matching of the frequency of fundamental transitions of one kind of vibration with first vowel tone transition of the other kind of vibration called as fermi resonance so try to understand the situation this is the first case in the first case what is happening the transition from v0 to v1 v0 to v1 means which kind of transition that is that is a fundamental transition or not the fundamental transition is going to give a particular peak that is the what 3100 cm inverse okay assume that this fundamental transition v0 to v1 takes place due to the stretching vibration it means that what we have a molecule in the molecule we are observing the stretching vibrations because of the stretching vibrations what is happening we are observing one particular peak at 3100 cm inverse that is due to the what fundamental rush okay now come to the second case in the second case what is happening here we are observing the bending vibrations because of the bending vibrations we are observing a fundamental transition the fundamental transition value is how much 1550 v0 to v1 is a fundamental transition and v0 to v2 is what first vowel tone transition or not it means if the v0 to v1 transition frequency is 1550 cm inverts what should be the frequency of v0 to v2 double of this one or not so what is the double value 3100 or not that is the first vowel tone frequency the first vowel tone frequency of which vibration bending vibration here fundamental vibration here fundamental transition of stretching vibration 3100 first vowel tone transition of bending vibration 3100 so what we are observing fundamental transition of the stretching vibrational frequency is equal to what first vowel tone frequency of the bending vibrations are not this type of situation is commonly called as fermi resonance see this one matching of the frequency of fundamental transition of one kind of vibration here what is the vibration stretching vibration or not fundamental transition of stretching vibration is equal to the what first vowel tone transition of other kind of vibration first vowel tone transition of bending vibration or not so these two values are same or not then such type of situation is commonly called as what fermi resonance the fermi resonance phenomena is generally observed in aldehydes let us see the aldehydes in case of the aldehydes we are having what c double bond o bond and carbon hydrogen bond see the carbon hydrogen stretching frequency that is 2800 carbon hydrogen bending frequency 1389 so if you double this one what happens it is around 1400 or not so 1400 plus 1400 means what 2800 or not see this v0 to v1 fundamental transition stretching vibration is 2800 v0 to v1 bending vibration is 1389 so first vowel tone will be what 2778 so these two values are approximately same or not 2800 and 2778 so this situation is commonly called as what fermi resonance so fermi resonance peaks will be observed in aldehydes the last type of bands are what 
hot bands are hot peaks already we know that at room temperature majority of the transitions are which transitions fundamental transitions are not so in generally at room temperature what happens all the particles are present at the v not level only so because of the presence of these particles at the v not level if you irradiate with the ir radiation what will happen most of the particles moving towards the v1 only so majority of the transitions are what v not to v1 transitions these transitions are what fundamental transitions are not suppose if you change the temperature by changing the temperature what happens some of the particle in the v not level may be shifted to the higher energy levels suppose assume that 10 particles are present in the v not level by changing the temperature what happens two particles are jumped to the v2 level two particles are jumped to the v3 level right it means v2 level and v3 level are containing the particles if you irradiate that system with the ir radiation what happens the particles which are present in the v1 level will involving in the transition v2 level will involving in the transition or not due to those transitions if we will get the peaks those peaks are commonly called as hot bands or hot peaks the hot indicates what related to the temperature by changing the temperature population of the particle at the higher energy level will be increased if we observe the transition at the higher energy level then those type of transitions are going to give certain peaks those peaks are commonly called as hot bands or hot peaks so these are the different kinds of the transitions which we are observed due to which different kinds of the peaks are observed in the IR spectra of organic molecules.